rather not don't. That they, they love that I think that this show honors that point of view as well and sends it up just as heavily as we are sent up as lefty liberal people. And I'm thrilled about that because that's not easy. And, and it's, I think the most important thing that we need to remember is to listen to them, right? Because we're all the same. And that's, if we're gonna say that about the show, we should mean it on both sides. So I love, I love to that. That's oh, thank you. You're awesome too. Thanks. Did you, did you pay her? I did. <laughs> <laughs> one of the real strengths, I think, of the, uh, uh, one of the real power of this, the real power of the show is the solution comes from Emma herself. It's not someone else, and I think that's an important element. And writers, I'm sure that's, that was deliberate, and, and Fabrice as well, you know, that's something I think to remember for when you're kind of working on the UN Free and Equal campaign, to remind people that the strength comes from them. Yeah, and you know, we actually, um, we, have, we have this campaign going on which is not on LGBTI issue, which, but which is more uh, on, on general human rights, which is stand up for human rights. And it's, it's coming to culmination in six days, because we are celebrating in six days uh, the seventh chess anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was uh, written in 1948, actually, by, uh, with a huge contribution of Eleanor Roosevelt, who, who gets some credit at the beginning of, uh, of the show. <laughs> And, um, and, and, you know, um, it, it's an important document and it has, you know, we are, we are basically celebrating because it has, it has helped achieve huge progress on the way we look at other people, right? Whether it's indigenous population or women or, uh, you know, the way we treat each other. I think the Declaration of Human Rights has played a key role. It's, it's, it's a little bit sad that lately uh, some people have told us that we live in a post-human rights world. Uh, because, you know, if there's one thing that we can do, is we can reopen uh, the Declaration of Human Rights. And there is nothing uh, lefty or liberal or New Yorker about freedom from torture. I mean, I think we can all relate to the fact that we should have basic rules like freedom from torture. And it doesn't make us a lefty uh, to fight for that. And so if there's, if there's one thing that we're pushing is for people to reopen the Declaration of Human Rights and become ambassador for it, because it's true that in the paper, uh, sometimes you know, in government office, we hear people tell us that we're in a post-human rights world, and I don't think that's the case. Uh, and then, you know, the, 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 the next thing that, that I believe we can do uh, from another part of, of my work is uh, if you can look at the way we spend our money, uh, and, you know, it's, it's something that is always great to tell to New Yorker because they do have a lot of money. And, uh, and it's a great time because it's, it's Christmas time and we're going to spend a lot of money. And so I think that as employers, as consumers, as employees, you know, and also as shareholders, we can shape the world around us. And, uh, you know, I love, as an example, the brand of Kenneth because Kenneth Cole is also one of 220 companies that have, uh, that have signed some kind of a pledge uh, for the human rights of LGBTI people globally. And I, you know, I, I think that uh, as consumers, we, we have to make the difficult work of discerning between the brands and the companies that have values that align with our values and the ones that don't. And it takes a little bit of research, uh, but, but if there's one thing that I would like you to remember is that that can be your contribution to human rights. And Kenneth, last word to you then. What's your message? What's your message or a challenge to everyone here tonight in terms of their own efforts, their own work to promote human rights? So I think we all have our platforms, we all have resources within our reach that we can access. Um, and, and I do believe that we should metaphorically put ourselves in each other's, in other people's shoes. Um, and especially if they're mine. <laughs> um, um, they are actually um, wearing the correct footwear this <laughs> evening. Thank you, Caitlin. Back to the point. <laughs> so I, I am 
privilege to work with you, all these extraordinary talented people. And sometimes it's very difficult to deliver, to deliver such a hard message um, in, 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 the, in the expected and ordinary course, but to do it through such, such art and such talented individuals makes it so disarming and so easy to penetrate, um, where in the ordinary course it just isn't. So thank you, and my pride wants to be part of this production and doing what you guys Okay, do. well, everyone, you know, I'm sure we, we, you'd all agree that we could carry on talking for much later into the night, but I have to let you all go. I have to let these good people go. I would like you all, when you thank our panel, also to thank the good people of the cast and the crew and everyone who's keeping the theatre running for us this evening and say thank you to everyone. Thank you.